What's good with y'all? I'm coming at y'all with another update video. I know y'all see the thumbnail. And, uh, yeah, man, it ain't good. It's ugly. It's ugly. But I'm going to get into all that. I'm going to uh, go jump to the next clip. Show y'all what we did, how far we got before. And show y'all what the truck looked like with the wheels on and all that other stuff. And then I'm going to tell y'all what happened. All right, so this, the truck with the wheels on it, 17s. Had put the new bed cover on it, man, everything. Got the hood up there. I'm going to show y'all on the hood. But that's what it looked like on the wheels. It looks up because it's sitting on the hill, y'all. It's on an incline, so that's why it looked like that. But y'all know the back would drop if you saw the video. 17s in the front, uh, 15s in the back. Jigs, SSR, spikes. This how far he had got up on the hood. Had the dedicated nitro system over there. Uh, the line just off though but when everything happened <laughs> when it started knocking which is what it did everything started happening basically i'm gonna get into all of that though but yep new carburetor man had put the 650 on it double pumper because carburetor had went bad but 650 is really what it needed the nitrous had the solenoids and all that hooked up the bottom mounted in the back uh the one gallon fuel cell the new fuel pump, this ain't even been turned on. This fuel pump hasn't even been turned on at all. Mounted the regulators and all of that. Man, we had everything, had everything hooked up. I'll show y'all the back. Oh, the gauge cluster. I might well show y'all all of that, man. Uh, I still got to drop that video showing how he did it, but custom gauge cluster. The water gauge goes right there. He just had not put it in yet, but. Yeah, yeah, it did that, man. Everything functional. Somebody asked why I wanted two tacks, man. Basically, I didn't want to leave an empty spot. So, that's why I got another tack. So, we got that. Then, uh, let me see. We got the, um, the nitro bottom mounted back there and all of that. Y'all see? So, everything. That did everything pretty much. So, that's a quick little tour. Shout out to all them people back there on the back. But, quick little tour of everything we did. Flip the camera back around and I'm holly to All right, y'all. So, pretty much what happened. Uh, just got to the shop today. Uh, all he had to do was wire up the uh, solenoids to the, to the uh, switch and stuff. The turn on the system, the arm the system, and uh, to the button. But took it out for a drive, um, cruised it through town, went to the car wash, washed the tires off, cause the tires were dirty. That's why I didn't want to show y'all when we first put them on, the tires were dirty. So, washed the tires off. I touched it, I hit it uh, coming out the car wash, took it up to about 4,200 RPM, shifted a second, and backed off of it. And uh, my cousin was riding with me, y'all know, y'all see him in the uh, video with me a lot. And I looked at him, I said, hey man, it's knocking. I'm telling you, I hear it knocking. He was like, man, you tripping. You tripping. I'm like, I'm telling you because of it knocking. So we slowed down. We eased through town, and it's knocking pretty much. The motor knocking, spun a rod bearing or something, or bearing on the, uh, pretty much spun a rod bearing. That's it. <laughs> so it's it knocking. Like I said, it ain't a converter bolt. So now we're going to take it, and it's done. It's done. But after that, everything started happening. The belt came off. It ran hot. Slung the belt off. It, uh. What else, man? Something else happened. I can't remember. What else happened? Something else happened. <laughs> Y'all see Cedro back there. Uh, I don't know. Something else happened, but a lot of stuff started happening. When it came off track, some of everything, but it's done, so it's not going to... Uh, we ain't going to see it on the track, basically. Not going to see it on the track, because it's just going to be a mystery as far as what it would have ran, man. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but I always said if, uh, if it ever tore up, I'm not going to put it back together. I'm not going to put the money back in it to fix it. I'm just going to put another motor, a real motor in it. So still going to be a street truck. Um, my plans were originally to make some more content with it, do some ride reactions and all of that. And I was going to actually give the motor away to one of y'all, one of the subscribers. I was going to come up with some kind of contest to give the motor away because, you know, y'all support me, y'all support the channel and everything. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to give the motorway some kind of contest and, you know, whoever win, come pick it up or 
find a way to get it to where they need to get it to, but it tore up. So that's the end of all that. The cheap skate is not the cheap skate no more because it ain't going to be no cheap motor. It ain't going to be super expensive, but it, it, it ain't going to be nowhere near as cheap as this motor was. This was a $1,200 motor, seriously. $1,200 motor. That's what it would have cost somebody else. My real out-of-pocket cost, it was, I spent $1,097 in that motor. That's my real out-of-pocket cost, but it would cost somebody else $1,200. And this what this a chance you take, man. The bottom end is literally the only thing we didn't touch, and that's what went bad. That's a chance you take when you're doing stuff like this. But it was a fun project. It was a fun build to do. And, you know, I do stuff like this called, so y'all can see. You know, it's other people want to try this. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky, man. It just, hey, it had all it had. I don't know how many miles on this bottom end. It was a $250 short block. We did not touch the bottom end. It was $250 short block. And if you've been following this build, you know the reason was I was trying to stay under a $5,000 budget for this entire truck to get it running, which is hard to do. So that's the reason, because I know some people might be like, why you just didn't uh, rebuild the bottom end? That's why. So... That's it, man. Um, I hope people enjoyed the build, still enjoyed the truck. I was planning on getting to shut up and race or making it to shut up and race, but that ain't gonna happen. This thing ain't done. Um, so I'm gonna pull the motor and I probably get started on it, a new motor in about a month or two. I'm taking a break from it, man, cause I've been spending so much money in it. So I'm just taking a break from it. Like I said, I just bought that carburetor, had just bought these wheels, like 15, 15 to $1,600 in parts the last two weeks, so I'm just ready to take a break. So, uh, yep, that's it. Quick little update, y'all. I mean, drop your comments below. Appreciate everybody watching. I'm out.